Now, I know at the end of the day, who is first doesn't ultimately matter, but the reason I wanted to dive into this subject is we're not always looking at the electric pickup truck space from a shareholder's perspective or like which company's going to get it right. Some people out there are just genuinely interested like, hey, I want to buy an electric pickup truck. I want it to have a high amount of range. Who's the most likely to deliver that truck to me first? Today's video is trying to angle it from the customer's perspective, not so much who gets it right. It's about what is going to make sense for you or how you you should base your plans. So I ran a poll and got nearly 2,000 people to vote on this subject because there's three main contenders for which electric truck is going to deliver 400 miles of range before everybody else. So the reason I've narrowed it down to these three is because as far as I can tell, these are the only three electric trucks that have been announced from established automakers. You know, we're not talking about random startup companies that have never delivered a product before, but have set out timelines, have unveiled designs, and confirmed that yes, this vehicle we are targeting over 400 miles of range. So that of course includes the Tesla Cybertruck from the big boys on the block, the largest EV maker in the world, but also first mover advantage Rivian, who delivered the first electric pickup truck out of any of these options, but also the old dog who's trying to learn some new tricks, GM with the Silverado EV, which I feel like not that many people talk about. And the funny thing is that I would almost expect the likelihood of the rollout of these three vehicles to be completely inversed from the results of the poll. Most people voted that the Cybertruck would be first. Next option, which was quite a bit behind the Cybertruck, was the Rivian Max Pack. And then dead last, with barely anybody voting for it, was the Silverado EV. Now, the reason that's funny to me is that if you actually paid attention to the unveiling and announcement of the Silverado, they've said that the work truck variant, which is primarily being targeted for fleet buyers, should start deliveries in the spring of 2023, which honestly is not that far away. People have spotted the Silverado EV testing in the wild. And yes, it's from GM, who's definitely carried a very negative stigma around EVs between the giant recall with the bolts, and of course their bumpy start with the EV1, who killed the electric car. Yeah, it was uh, those guys. But they've definitely changed their narrative a lot, and while they have launched the Hummer EV, which just gets a little over 300 miles of range, the Silverado EV has a bigger emphasis on aerodynamics, efficiency. It's not four motors, it's just two, and GM is saying it should be rocking the same 200 kilo our Ultium battery pack. But the weird thing about the Silverado EV launch that I talked about after they first unveiled it is they don't get very specific with the pricing or the different range options. As far as we can tell, there may only be one range option, which is supposed to be over 400 miles of range, but we still don't have the EPA test for any of these vehicles, so we don't know that to be sure. But the crazy thing to me is they've still said that the Silverado EV, you know, base trim with no fancy add-ons, is going to start close to around $40,000. $40,000 truck, with a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack. Either GM is just comfortable losing thousands and thousands of dollars on each of these trucks. You know, they're just doing it so they look good in the press so that they can say, hey, we have good range. Hey, we're selling at low prices. But in reality, it is not sustainable. It is not a profitable business model. Or maybe there is lower range trims of the Silverado EV that they just don't want to talk about yet. But in all of my research, I've been looking up all kinds of articles and everybody that's interviewed GM about the Silverado and they don't really give you very many concrete details details other than, I guess, the work truck. At least there's supposed to be some trim that may launch in the spring that may have over 400 miles of range. But again, they're being awfully quiet and not diving into a lot of details with this trim. So because they're being so vague and obscure about it, maybe that's why the 2,000 of you who voted were not very comfortable voting for the Silverado because you're like, ah, I don't even know what that is. When is that coming out? Is that still a thing? And yes, there are other companies like Dodge Ram who has announced that their electric truck should be over 500 miles of range, but they haven't even unveiled it yet and because it's coming later they said not to expect it until 2024 I didn't include it on this list. Although it's technically not impossible in case all three of these options we're discussing today end up not happening or getting delayed further than we expect. But because GM is being intentionally vague and the pricing seems suspiciously low for a battery pack of that size that would not be my vote either. My guess is that the work truck variant is going to end up having a smaller battery pack of some kind that gets somewhere around 300 miles of range and the 400 mile variant will probably end up being reserved for the first edition, which isn't launching until the end of 2023. But if we're just working off of established timelines that these automakers have laid out, Rivian recently posted an update that the Max Pack R1T is coming, but for now, it's going to be restricted to the dual motor variant. And a lot of people were disappointed by this, but I was actually excited to see the update because there was a lot of talk, especially going on at Rivian Stories, which was justified that after Rivian has simplified and can't 
canceled so many options between the power tonneau cover, the camping kitchen, and the explore package, which was supposed to be cheaper. You know, Rivian had been getting rid of all of these options to streamline manufacturing. Many people thought the Max Pack was going to end up being scrapped entirely. I mean, you already can't select the Max Pack if you're buying an R1S. So many were like, ah, one of these days we're going to get that update and Rivian is going to say, sorry, we've decided that the Max Pack is not worth pursuing and that the large pack is good enough. You know, 300 miles of range is fine, which would, of course, just tick off the vast majority of people out there that want over 400 miles of range because they know once they start towing with that truck, it's probably going to be more like 200 miles of range and likely even less than that, depending on how aerodynamic your trailer is. But it came forward with a statement saying we're on track to start deliveries of the Max Pack R1T in summer of 2023. And this I put a little bit more weight in than Elon's Cybertruck predictions because the Rivian R1T is in production right now. They're ramping and nearly halfway through Q4 and Rivian says they're on schedule to meet their guidance. So every quarter they have this doubling effect of R1T production. So in my view, this would actually be my vote if I was presented with this poll. And the reason why is because I feel like Rivian has the least amount of work to do. Of course, it's always going to be challenging to get a fairly large, heavy vehicle that's not very aerodynamic like a pickup truck that doesn't have an inefficient gas engine to rely on to go over 400 miles on a single charge. That's always going to be somewhat challenging, but Silverado EV, that's practically starting from the ground up. The new body, probably a slightly tweaked powertrain from the Hummer EV. That Ultium battery pack, of course, is huge and everything, but GM doesn't have that much experience, in my opinion, with ramping EVs at that high a volume. The Bolt is fairly common, but of course had to get recalled so many times, and it's using totally different batteries from what the Hummer is using, and they had to shut off orders for the Hummer because too many people were ordering it, and they are building them at such an incredibly slow pace. So I'm sure that'll change in the future, but as of right now, the Silverado EV is just like a brand new model. I don't think there's that much they get to reuse from the old Silverados. Same thing with the Cybertruck, you know, different battery architecture, whole different body design with the exoskeleton, different interior, different glass, different powertrain, different even tires than they used from any other electric vehicle before. Whereas Rivian, basically between all of these three players, just has to figure out how to fit a much larger battery pack in an existing design. And I'm sure there's some challenges with that. Some people have speculated whether or not the Max Pack can still accommodate the gear tunnel. I believe they're going to find a way, maybe they reduce the size of the frunk a little bit or the full size spare that a lot of Rivians have underneath the bed. Maybe they get rid of that for the sake of the larger battery pack. But in my view, they just have to figure out how to fit a larger battery pack into a pre-existing platform that's already in production, that's already driving around on the road. Whereas we can't say that with the Cybertruck. We can't say that with the Silverado EV. These are new vehicles with drastically different architectures than the vehicles that came before them. Whereas Rivian's out. Rivian has this first mover advantage. So because they're on track to hit guidance and they're already in production of the large pack, and they're saying that by summer of next year, we'll start deliveries of the Max Pack, I have the most faith in Rivian. But of course, before I get ahead of myself, a lot of you are probably already asking, well, Drew, why don't you think the Cybertruck is going to be first? Because Elon has said that's going to start delivering in mid-2023. Well, my comeback to that comment is actually the same exact sentence. Elon said first deliveries are going to be mid-2023. And if there's anything we know about Elon and timelines, it's that there's not much weight to be held behind them. Now, of course, I do believe in the timeline being a bit more realistic than it was previously because the Cybertruck factory is built. They're in the tooling stage now. They're installing equipment. We know the Gigapress is coming any day. And Tesla delivers more EVs and has ramped electric vehicles faster than anyone. So I do believe that the Cybertruck will be in the process of starting production in summer of 2023. But considering how long it took for Giga Texas to get Model Ys out, which was definitely longer than we were anticipating, and then even the 4680 Model Ys that they first built, they said, okay, deliveries start now in April of this year. But it was really just to employees. They weren't letting real customers take delivery yet. And they still never put the 4680 Model Y on the website. So in order to get that model, you had to find one in existing inventory, which was rare, or take the accelerated delivery option if you had a Model Y on order. So what I'm trying to say is start of production does not necessarily guarantee first deliveries to customers, at least with Tesla. And it could be a very similar story with Rivian as well, but I just feel like the assembly line is already running at a pretty decent pace for Rivian as we're speaking right now, whereas the Cybertruck, we're still in the tooling stage. And if you guys have been watching my Cybertruck videos for a while, you know that I believe Tesla prioritizes scaling of production above all else. So my prediction is still that Tesla is going to end up compromising on the range because they either can't build 4680 cells fast enough or they realize 
realize that they have such an insanely huge backlog of demand for the Cybertruck that they need to get as many trucks out there as quickly as possible. And in order to do that, they're going to use fewer cells per truck and just decide that, well, you know, we have the supercharging network, which is the best network. And I guess, you know, a little over 300 miles of range will probably be fine. 400 is a bit overkill for the first generation Cybertruck. When demand is as high as it is, there's really no need to have that much range in every truck because sure, you're going to lose out on most of your reservations, but Tesla has so many reservations for the Cybertruck, they can afford to lose well over 80% and they would still have a multi-year backlog. So that situation has me convinced that the first generation Cybertruck, at least, is going to have a sub 400 mile range, in which case kind of disqualifies itself from this list. But I could be wrong, but still, just the fact that Elon is usually way too optimistic on his delivery timelines makes me think that even if you're right, even if the first Cybertruck with four motors has over 400 miles of range, the first customer deliveries will probably not be until near the end of 2023 and i still think there's a decent chance that could get pushed to 2024 as well because tesla is using 2170 cells in the tesla semi and they're putting a lot of 2170 cells in the model y's coming out of texas so i feel like the cybertruck is probably optimized for the 4680 cell but ramping up that cell has taken longer than they expected so maybe they have to retool the assembly line and build 2170 packs into the cybertruck but all of that is going to take excess time and tesla is going to have excess testing Yes, Tesla will probably ramp Cybertruck production faster than both Ford or Rivian because Tesla is good at simplifying things. They're only going to have one option. I think there's only going to be one battery size, one powertrain layout, one interior choice, one exterior choice, whereas Rivian is going to have all these colors, all these tires to choose from, plus Ocean Coast, Forest Edge, and Black Mountain, all of these different interior choices. So I'm impressed with how quickly Rivian has been able to ramp, but personally, I think the way they were the first to deliver the first all-electric truck they will be the first to deliver an over 400 mile range variant and I can't wait to see the delivery videos and range tests that channels will do on that pickup truck because my heart really goes out to everybody out there that's excited for this electric future but they just can't get by with that 300 mile range because it gets cut in half in the winter or when towing and while it's not the most common use case for pickup trucks there are still a lot of people that need to tow great distances and a higher range is absolutely going to make it more viable but even 400 mile range isn't going to cut it for a lot so we'll have to have a whole different video when we talk about the first electric truck with 500 miles of range which we'll have to wait even longer for but based on my arguments in today's video what makes the most amount of sense to you guys do you think elon's timeline is actually right this time and they're going to deliver cyber trucks before the max pack comes out with over 400 miles of range or do you think the silverado ev work truck is going to remain on schedule and surpass 400 miles of range and do you think that's profitable in the first place or do you agree with me and think that the max pack from an established electric pickup truck maker is going to beat everyone else to the market let me know your predictions down below and thank you to everyone on patreon supporting this channel directly it seriously helps us out a ton as does just watching these videos so thanks again have an excellent rest of your day